What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Life on Promise You. My name is Gerald. This is my wife, Simone. For those of you that don't know, if you've been here for a while, then you know that we moved out here recently onto this 20 acre property. But what you don't know is, well, us. We never really shared our story, much about how we got here, our decision process, all that stuff. So we decided to sit down today and just walk you through the entire process of how we met, uh, the vision that we had post-marriage division that we had, finding a property this size, what we're doing here, what we plan on doing in the future, all that stuff. We're gonna give you all a good rundown, a good look into our lives. So if you're interested in learning more about us, then keep on watching. First, we're gonna go through how we met. And it's funny because we actually started dating on this day 12 years ago, June 12th of 2012. Is that 12 years ago? 11 years ago. 11 years ago. <laughs> so... Is it? I don't know. <laughs> on this day in 2012, we started dating. But to go even further than that, we were introduced to each other through track and field because we were on the same track and field travel program but we never really talked or anything like that we literally just knew of each other she was feeling me for a few years and then then we started dating after that <laughs> he was feeling me too she was, was feeling me she was feeling me and then she slid on me when we started talking oh my. it was uh, i tweeted him he had tweeted something and i tweet i responded to his tweet like i said she slid on me <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we started dating in 2012. That was my junior year of high school, her sophomore year. We dated all throughout the rest of high school. Dated through college. We went to the same college. We went to Purdue. We ran track together there as well. Again, track just runs in our blood. It just continued out the whole thing. Yep. It was the foundation of our relationship. And then we graduated in 2018. And then once we graduated, she moved down to Lexington, Kentucky for work. And I moved back home to Fort Wayne. But we still yeah. kept seeing each other. We kept talking, obviously. We were still dating throughout that. I was shooting back and forth yep. from home to Lexington, about a four hour trip every weekend, every weekend to go see out. this girl. Yep. I'll go pick her up, bring her home, <laughs> drive all the way back down there to drop her back off, then to yep. turn around and come back home. So we yep. dated all throughout there. And I absolutely hated Lexington, Kentucky. No shade if you live there, but it was just not for me. But I moved there because I had a job with Amazon there. So uh right after college so I, I followed the opportunity that was presented and i absolutely hated it so i was doing everything to try to find a new role within amazon and i finally did and they moved me to nashville tennessee so even further from home he was still here in fort wayne he proposed in 2019 he came down one weekend to visit he was acting really funny I kind of knew in the back of no, my she head. Did. No, she did. No, she did. No, she did. Let me tell you this story real quick about when I came down here to propose, right? I get down there. She talking about this one ring style that she wanted for the longest time. I go, I get one customized. I get it bought, whatever, everything. The day I'm for the propose, she down there talking about some. What would you think if I wanted this kind of ring? I'm sitting there, the ring in my pocket. I'm just sitting there staring at her. I'm like, no. I just told her, no. Whatever you get, I'm <laughs> whatever I got, that's what you're going to get. I propose in December. 2019 we got married september 2020, 2020. you know during the, during the pandemic we expedited it real quick yeah and then after marriage we moved back down to nashville for a little while yep. but it was cool it was nice but we didn't want to stay there for long yeah just because one it was expensive as ever to stay down there we lived like right in the city like if yeah. you're familiar with nashville we stayed like we in could walk we could walk to broadway like yeah. we stayed in the gulf so yep. we we're right downtown and we always plan on coming back home anyway then when we plan on starting a family, settling down, mm -hmm. all that stuff, you know, the goal, the vision was to really put our roots down here yeah. and get stuff going. So yep. we stayed down in Nashville for close to a year and then we moved back here after that. After we moved back, we got an apartment. We were, you know, in our, in our minds, we always wanted a house, obviously, but we weren't really in the market for one. Like we were not forcing anything. So we lived in an apartment for about, what, a year, another yeah, year? a year or so. Our goal is to stay in an apartment. Again, anywhere here was gonna be saving money for us from when we came back from Nashville. And we already knew what, that we wanted to find a house, buy a house, whatever, at some point. Again, we weren't yeah. rushing it. So our time in the apartment, we just spent saving as much money as we could. Yep. Um, just 
being cool, just being low key until the time came to buy a house. We knew the type of property that we wanted, right? We knew we wanted a lot of land. We knew we wanted a lake. We knew yep. we wanted, you know, space. Is, is the goal is what we're looking at. You know, there was a vision behind why we moved out or wanted a place like this in the first place. There were obviously a lot of houses on the market, but we weren't just going to pick any house. any house. Like we had, again, a vision and a purpose, which you know we'll get into in a little bit. Yep, and a goal of never moving again. That was like, people yeah. thought we were crazy for saying that we do that not want to Our first house is going to be our only our house. house. And people yes. going to say, oh no, no, that's what you think. No, that's what I know. The first house we buy is going to be our only, that's going to be it. Yep. I hate the moving process. I hate everything about it. And I moved every single year of my life, whether it was from a different state or just to a different apartment since t uh, like 2014. Because when I was in college, every single year, my roommates and I lived somewhere new. So we always had to move. After college, I moved to Kentucky. Then I moved to Nashville. Then in Nashville, I moved apartments to a bigger apartment when he moved in. And then we moved back to Fort Wayne. And then we moved into an apartment. It was just a lot. And I I like to be settled. So our goal was to find a place that we could be in forever that had potential to grow uh, where we do have a family and everything like that. I do want to mention, though, that in my head, before I met Gerald, my goal was always to live a city life. I loved downtown Chicago. I internshiped there for one summer. And that was just like my ultimate goal. I was like, oh yes, I would love to live in a high rise in the city. And when I met him, he was telling me he wanted land. And I was yeah. like, what is land? Like, what is that? Not that I didn't know what it was, but I just had never been exposed to anyone who had land or all this space and yeah. all of this stuff. Um, and at first I, I did not come around to the idea until I started watching videos and things. And I was like, wow, people really live like this. Like I, I just, like I said, I've never been exposed to anything like that. So I definitely came around to the idea of it. Um, I still like the city life, but I couldn't imagine living forever in the city, um, in such a tiny space, especially after living in Nashville, paying such a high rent for such a tiny space, it just didn't make any sense to me. The purpose, the vision, everything that God has given me was something like this. And being in the middle of a city in a little old apartment was the exact opposite of where I was being called. And I'm, we yeah. got to get out of here. Like, this yeah. just, it ain't, it's cool. It was nice. It yep. was fun while it lasted. Yeah. But it just, it, that wasn't it. Yeah. We can get into the story of how we found this place. So anyway, back to the apartment, we moved back here. So we're in an apartment, mm -hmm. we chilling, and we're kind of just looking for places. You know, we'll get on Cash. Zillow and, you know, other little home buying sites, whatever. We'll send stuff to each other back and forth, right? Usually, you know, properties that are... Excuse oh, our cats. Oh my cat. goodness, these cats <laughs> tripping. And when we first moved back, like the very first house that she saw mm -hmm. when we first started looking, like she was freaking out over it like she loved freaking this house out. like it was real cool nice home it was off had Historic. like 15 acres it had a pond on it like it had everything that we both want yeah that we wanted yeah. in the property but it went under contract like the same day that she saw it yeah and she was distraught like she was I distraught was. over this house for months she kept calling it yeah. her house yep. for the longest so i just, just knew we were gonna write them a letter and say hey this is our house like can we buy it from you? Something. Like, I just knew that this house was ours. Yeah, she loved that thing. <laughs> so this went on for a few months. We're still kind of sending each other stuff back and forth. And every time I send her something, she always bring it back up, that other house. So she'll say, she just missed that house a lot. I did. Yeah, so we're sending stuff to each other for, you know, quite a few months. We're not seeing anything much at all. And there was this one property that I kept seeing. But, you know, it checked all the boxes. But I just kind of kept looking over it because I thought it was, you know, just a little bit outside of our range. So, you know, I'm getting a little bit discouraged at the time, you know, I kind of start settling. Like I always wanted, you know, about 15, 15 to 20 acres, something like that. But, you know, 12 being my minimum. Yeah. So as the time goes on, I'm like, okay, maybe I can deal with 12. Oh, maybe I can deal with 10. Oh, maybe I can deal with five. You know, I just yeah. keep kind of settling because I'm like, oh, well, you know, maybe this just isn't going to happen, whatever. Laying in bed one night, I'm in the bedroom and she's in the living room just kind of sitting there. And the property that I had kept seeing for a while which is this one here. 
I kept seeing it for a while. I was like, well, let me just go ahead and send it to her. So I took it, I shot it over to her. And from the other room, she just started screaming and here she come running into the other room. Now, the only time she ever tripped out like that was over that first house we just talked about. Yep. So immediately like, I'm like, okay, so I paid a bunch of attention. So I'm like, well, let's go look at it. Let's go see it. Let's just go check it out. No, what the heck, whatever. So we call up my cousin. He tells us, you know, in order to come look at the house, in order to go visit or whatever, you have to get pre-approved first yeah. to do any type of viewing. This so is a Monday. Yeah, this is on a Monday. So we're like, okay, cool. So this will be nice, right? We're not thinking Anything? that we're going to buy it. We're yeah. just thinking, okay, we're just going to go look, look at walk it. around, be on it, just to see if this is the type of space. Like, yeah. if this is really what, you know, we're being yeah. pulled to yep. and called to, just this type of living. Yeah. You know, even though that, you know, it wasn't really anything we weren't planning on getting in again, the way that she reacted, the box and everything that I feel like, some just kind of stood out. Some was moving in my spirit, uh, you know, pay attention to this. So Monday night, you know, I'm praying and I'm just like, you know, I had just been reading, you know, the story of, you know, Abraham going to find a wife for Isaac. You know, he sent one of his servants. He went over to a well and the servant said, you know, whoever comes out offers me water and offer and also offers to water my camels. Let this be, you know, the wife that I take back to my master. So just a real cool, small, little, simple prayer. So that's what I did. You know, I knew we had a lake out here. Uh, again, I had always wanted one. So what I did, simple prayer I did was just like, Lord, you know, if this is you know, where you're calling us, if this is where you're leading us, you know, let me see just an abundance of fish in the water. Let me see just good life in there. So now I prayed that, left it at that, and then we're fasting. So this is Monday nights. So then Tuesday comes, we wake up, you know, we have the contact that, you know, my cousin gave us. Uh, we call her, we're talking to her, giving her everything, and we end up getting pre-approved for the house. So we get pre-approved. We're like, okay, cool. We get pre-approved. So we can, one, we can go see this house, and two, okay, we know that this is the amount we're pre-approved for. So if anything does, you know, later on, come down the road, whatever, then we know our price range, blah, 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 all that stuff. So we're like, cool. And we go out and we see the house the same day. The same day. Yeah. This is Tuesday. It's still Tuesday. So we go out and see the house. So we're driving out, we're driving out. And then as we're pulling up, we pull up into this place and it's just like, <laughs> like it's so, like the location of this, I can't, like it's hard to describe the it's location hard. of this. Yeah. We're still close to, like we're still close to everything. Like downtown, we could get to downtown in 20, 25 yeah. minutes. Everything takes us 20-ish yeah. minutes to get to. So it's a good size city, but this spot, like it's so tucked off. It's a whole like little lake here. Like it's just, it's just so random. Like this piece of, land property here just insane for this area so you pull in and it just kind of open up it's just like what you know it's like Where its own we? little world back here like this is in fort wayne like yeah. this, this is nuts it was just like so calm mm -hmm. like so peaceful so peaceful like this it, is nuts when we stepped out of the car there was this just overwhelming sense of peace that we felt just being here it was it was unlike anything we've ever experienced before and we it was just this feeling we just knew like okay this is something special like let's pay attention uh, yeah so we're walking around showing us everything we walk around we look inside the house we walk around the property you know we just talking about this talking about that he's showing us and again this house is like <laughs> it's raggedy this house is run down right it was built in the 70s and yeah. carpet I, in the bathroom it's like nothing has been done to nothing. this house since yeah. it was built like it is yeah. So like, I, like y'all see in the renovations or anything like yep. this house is, was like nothing like really to write home about looking at it, but it was still like, well, okay. So we're walking around, looking at the property, showing us the inside of the house, and then again, I'm still, I'm still sitting back. You know, I'm fasted at this point. I'm chilling. I'm just waiting until we get down to the lake. So we start walking down the little pier. Yeah, pathway leading down to the pier, uh, leading to the dock, whatever. And as we're walking down, I'm looking around. I'm just looking over the surface of the water. It's all these little bugs flying, the dragonflies flying over the top of the water stuff, and it's just fish, like jumping out, eating stuff. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> so I'm looking at that, I'm like, all right, all right. So I walk up, I stand at the edge of the pier. I think they were back a little bit yeah, talking we were or talking something. talking about interest rates or something. I ain't listening at all. I'm not listening to anything they saying. I'm standing at the edge of the pier and I'm just staring in the water. I'm staring in the water. I'm looking at these fish jumping all around here. I'm like, all right, let me not, let me not, maybe I, my gassing is too much. I don't know. I'm trying to be calm, calm mind, calm spirit. And I look in the water. I'm looking in the water. It's just fish swimming all throughout the water and stuff. And I'm just like, all right. So I took, so I took that again. I'm still not trying to overreact or whatever. But I'm like, 
okay. So we kind of get to the end and we go to the front and we're standing there. And he's like, well, what do you guys think? I didn't even say anything. I just looked at her and she just sitting there. I'm just she cheesing. She just cheesing like a mug. I'm cheesing because I just see so much potential in this place. I feel so much peace. I understand, you know, like the house itself was is not in good condition. I mean, the I don't want to say like structurally it's in bad condition, but just like the aesthetics of it all. It's very outdated. We It needs a ton of work. It needs a bunch of work. Basically, everything you look at in the house needs to be updated. But that did not deter me from understanding the potential that this property had. Came back home. We were, you know, we were really happy. Like, we were ecstatic. All we could talk about was this house. Like, Tuesday evening, there was no watching TV, no watching there YouTube. There was nothing. We was talking about the house because it was just that good. I'm running around, flipping over the bed. <laughs> me too. I'm just doing, so I was just like, day. I'm like, now I'm usually, I'm the super reserved, like, like laid back. If y'all didn't seen me probably in other videos, and if you don't know, I'm just, I'm usually just kind of in the background, chilling, whatever. What get me hype, what get me going more than anything, you see I'm leaning the camera here. <laughs> the one thing that get me hype and out of body is when I see the Lord working and doing something for me and like working in my life. Yeah. There's nothing I get more geeked about than seeing the Lord move and provide for me. Like that, don't nothing much else get me hyped. That and garden, that <laughs> no, 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 no movie. So I'm running around, I'm flipping over the bed. I'm laid out on the floor and it's just like, dang. It was just like <laughs> an answered prayer. Um, but we knew we still had to execute, like continue to go through this whole thing. So, Come. <laughs> I cannot. So, come Wednesday, we wake up and we go ahead and put in our first offer. It was below asking price, but come Wednesday evening, the same day, they counter offered and their counter offer was within the range that we wanted to stay in. We accepted their counter offer because it was really everything that we were looking for in the price. Gave us a couple things too. You know, everybody leaves things, you know, with the house. You know, they leave to whoever they're selling it to. But they left us some real nice stuff. They left us, yeah. you know, a real nice uh, front end loader, tractor, Kubota, probably about a fifteen twenty thousand dollar $20,000 uh, tractor that they left us, which was real nice. They left us yeah. a leaf vacuum thing, a ride along mower. So they left yeah. us probably about a good twenty thousand dollars worth of things yeah. you know, that we will need to yeah. work and do stuff out here so at this point we are so happy because we're like oh yeah we got the house like it's just a great feeling and it was just it was too easy it, like, we went from monday <laughs> just chilling like oh god or whatever to wednesday we got a house we got like, a house. <laughs> like you have it that quick like that and i think at this point it's important to mention that we were not competing with anyone. It was we were in it by ourselves. Seamless. The way God's hand was over everything, the, the entire thing. like everything about it was just woo. Like it was just, it was all him. We were just was sitting like this. Yeah. He was he was driving the boat. He literally it was like he unlocked each door for us and told us to come on through. Yeah. For each step of the process, like unlock, come on through, just unlock, seamless. come on through. This is in 2022, you know. The housing market was dumb hot at this time i mean probably the hottest that it had been in the time you no know, houses are going within hours of being listed a yep. hundred two hundred thousand dollars over asking price like everything is just going 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 yeah this house again i had been looking at it for a long time it was up for over 30 days with yep. no, no, offers, no offers nothing on it <laughs> like we were the first offer and like yeah. immediately after they accepted our offer and you know we started the closing process like immediately after they accepted it anyway they were taking backup offers yeah. i was talking to one of the owners and she said like immediately after they accepted ours like six or seven offers came in in a couple of days so it was just like okay this house has been up for 30 some days, 30 days no offers we put an offer and they accept it and then and offers now. start rolling in like crazy so we were just like crazy oh all right like yeah okay that's interesting so yeah, yeah we go through the escrow process closing and now that process, you know, you just have to be on it. Saw the house beginning of July. July 4th. July 4th. And by July 29th is when we close on the house. So about a month's process. Every box that we wanted in a property, this property had. Like even back to initially, like for me personally, what I wanted in the crib was one, obviously enough land, you know, plenty of acreage, mm -hmm. 15, 20 acres. We got that. I didn't want to be too far from work. 
but I also didn't want to be in the city. I didn't want a bunch of people around me either. I wanted two, three neighbors, but not next to me, just close, just in the area. No, somewhere close enough, but they not right up on me. I wanted a pond. Some kind of body of water or something. Just, I didn't even, I got a lake. <laughs> we got a lake. I didn't, I just wanted a little pond. He gave us that. Um, and then even things that we didn't necessarily know or weren't really like thinking of what we needed and what we wanted like came with the house too like we when we got here like we would find like we'll come across Bobby. stuff like randomly like, like oh my god like we got this too like just all type of stuff like the again a garden obviously me the garden i need some good type of soil or whatever i'm walking around out here one day the area where we live fort wayne got the worst dirt i've never seen in my life it sucked it's clay, it's hard, it's compact, it just, it sucks, it's terrible stuff to grow in. Yeah. So I'm walking around outside, and I'm like, I wonder what the dirt's like out here. I grab a shovel, whoop, I step on it, that mug just sink right into the dirt. I'm like, what in the world? And I lift it up, went from the worst dirt I'd never seen in my life around here to this, the best soil I'd never seen in my entire life. So I'm just like, yeah. okay, like, all right. And even just like smaller things that the house came with, like a fireplace. I know that's so simple, but... I always wanted a fireplace in my house, our forever home, and the fact that it's already here is just fantastic. The double front doors, I always love double front doors, and I am so happy that we have those. And there's just like a lot of other little things that I just appreciate, even though they may not be in the condition that I want them to be right now, there's just something that we can work with and work off of, and it's just fantastic that these things are already here. The reason that we wanted so much space and so much land, you know, obviously she started, you know, seeing the purpose and the vision behind it later on. Um, but my goal and my thought process was always, you know, where I was being led was, one, I want a space where if something happens or when things happen and times get tough, whatever, I have a space where my family, really close friends or whatever, like they could come and basically have a refuge but still have enough space know to be away from each other but also be close enough you know community to build and you know just work with one another and also at the same time you know i started getting into gardening and everything real big a few years ago yep. you know he led me there and a lot of the stuff that you know he's been showing me with that and leading me direction he's been leading me there you know just with certain businesses i'm trying to start up as far as you know providing produce and farming and making juices and all this type of stuff Obviously you need land, you need space, <laughs> you need ground to be able to do that type of stuff. So I you know, needed the land to be able to do that too. That's a place where, you know, again, we wanted to raise a family to, you know, raise them to the best of my ability, be able to provide them, you know, pretty much, yeah, everything that, you know, a kid would want and would need. They got the space to run around, kick it and play. I'm able to grow fresh food and everything for them. I got a lake, we could fish in it. I could provide for them that way too, if we had to, you know, just, Everything in that aspect, yeah. you know, the house pretty much, it, it checked off. Checked. We knew, like, when we were still living in our apartment before we actually moved in here, we were, like, gearing up for kind of being tired because we knew that this place was going to take work on the weekends. We would say, like, this is probably the last free weekend we'll have in a while because we knew that we were gearing up to start a journey that would be a lifelong journey of fixing up this house and just putting a lot of time and effort into making this into something that you know we want and building something that is our own so we were up for the challenge and i'm glad we took the chance so yeah that's the story of how we met and the journey that we were on to find this house and it's been a journey for sure. Every day is a learning opportunity for us with home ownership. There's just so much that goes into it. But we are grateful for this house. We're grateful for the journey that we've been on. And we're grateful for you guys too um, for going on this journey with us and just being on the ride with us. So we appreciate your guys' support and we'll continue to take you along for the journey of the different projects that we have planned. So yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and like the video, leave us a comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let us know what you want to see in the future. If you want to see more stuff like this, more house rentals, stuff. we got plenty of more stuff yep. coming to y'all. Appreciate y'all. We'll catch y'all next time. Till then, peace. Bye.